Magandang buhay mga katim Ang ituturo ko po sa inyo ngayon Ay ang step by step procedure Sa pag online Ng National Police Clearance uh, From fill up Ng form to payment Using GCash So konting trivia lang po Ang National Police Clearance System was launched By the PNP uh, During mid 2019 Uh, to provide faster and efficient way of securing police clearance So madali lang po ito Kaya hindi, wag na natin patagalin Let's start Okay first step uh, Search po tayo kay Manong Google PNP Clearance Online uh, Labas na po dyan ang National Police Clearance System uh, So click lang natin Okay, nasa website na po tayo ng PNP Clearance System. So, kung kayo'y may account na, you can log in and enter your email and password. Uh, since I first time, uh, dun mo po muna tayo sa register. Click register. Then, uh, check all the checkboxes to continue. Click next, then check, next, check, check, next, and last two, check boxes, one, two, then click I agree. So, enter na po tayo ng valid email address. Then, create password. After that, you can fill out your first name, middle name, surname, then qualifier, if you're a junior, senior, second, third, etc. Your gender, and then your birth date. Now, click register then save now you can sign in by typing your email and password then click sign in you can now see your profile dashboard uh, sa iba ba po ay makikita nyo ang tatlong button edit profile clearance application transaction Una po muna nating gagawin ang edit profile. You can now start fill in the required fields. All fields with asterisk should be filled in. You cannot leave it blank. You can now start fill in your sex, your civil status. If you are a PWD, You can check this to avail 20% discount on payment. And if you are a first-time job seeker, you can avail the one-time pre-clearance under the First-Time Job Seeker Assistance Act. Now, let's continue. Fill in the nationality, the birthplace, your address, province, Then city or municipality, then barangay, your mobile number, your height, may built-in converter na po siya. Kung hindi nyo alam ang inyong height in centimeter, you can click converter and type your height in feet and inches. Then your weight, complexion. Your blood type, religion, educational attainment, your occupation, then your family background, father's name, father's middle name, father's surname, your father's birthplace, then your mother's maiden name, Your, the, your mother's middle name, 
your mother's surname, then your mother's birthplace. Last is your spouse given name, your spouse middle name, your spouse surname. Recheck all your entries. If everything is correct, you can now click save profile. Profile successfully updated. We can now click the clearance application. Select na po tayo ng ating police station, ng ating local police station. Pero bago yan, meron po kayo makikita sa unang row na select for LTOPF application. Choose no. Kung hindi naman po ito gagamitin for firearms license. Now you can select your local police station for the date of appointment. Now you can select payment option. Just click land bank. Then click next. Now you can save your scheduled appointment. You are now successfully save your appointment. Makikita nyo na po ang inyong reference number, your payment channel, appointment date, uh, police station, kung saan makukunin ang iyong clearance. Makikita nyo po na ang status niya ay pending. So, pwede na natin siyang bayaran through GCash. Click na po natin yung green button. Click here to pay. Okay, pumasok na po tayo sa payment portal ng Land Bank. Uh, makikita nyo na po dyan ang inyong transaction details. And then yung ating payment option. Click select. Then makikita nyo na po diyan ang mga iba't ibang bank channel na pwede nyo pagbayaran. Pipiliin po natin dyan ay yung cash payment. Now, yung ating payment summary. Andiyan na po ang transaction amount which is 150. Meron na tayo ngayon transaction P. 30 pesos. Ang total amount na ating babayaran ay 180 pesos. Click na po yung checkbox and then click submit. Now we can choose our payment method. Marami po tayo pagpipilian kung saan pwede tayo magbayad. Since GCAS po ang ating preferred option, kiklik natin ang bayad center. After checking payment details, you may now click proceed and click OK. Ito na po ang ating kailangan sa pagbabayad sa GCash. Ang dealer name which is Dragon Pay at saka ang reference number. We may now proceed to our GCash account for the payment. On your GCash account, press Pay Bills, then search for Dragon Pay. Now, type na natin yung ating reference number. Then, ang ating contact number and email use. Okay. Double check po ang ating reference number. If everything is okay, you may now click confirm to process the payment. Ang maganda sa GCAS ay real-time ang kanyang crediting. Few seconds lang ang ating iintayin, credit na siya, at siya sa ating uh, clearance. Balik na po tayo sa ating clearance dashboard. 
As you can see, paid na po siya. You can now download the transaction details. Pwede nyo na rin pong i-print siya o i-screenshot. At yan ang inyong dadalhin o ipapakita sa police station. That's all mga katim. At sana po ay nasundan nyo ang aking step-by-step -step procedure. At kung may mga iba pa po kayong katanungan, kindly write it down sa comment section. At kung nagustuhan nyo po ang aking video, ay click na rin po ang subscribe button and click the notification bell para po manotify kayo sa mga susunod kong tutorial videos. Bye-bye!